Hello, big cats. Welcome back to the Red Can Club. And today we are playing Firewatch. Now, you might be wondering why this game. It's I think it came out in 2014, if I'm correct. But um, the reason why we're doing this game is because I have a lot of games that I have on Steam, and I have not played a lot of them. Uh, this one I have played. So um, I'm excited that, that what I did was I took all the names of the games that I haven't played on the channel. And uh, I put them in a wheel, and I spun the wheel, and this was the first game. So, um, there's a total of 95 games in that wheel. And I just want to make sure that everything's fine. It's a very... It's very narrative. I'll say that. So, I want the voice to be the... The vocal point, <laughs> if you want to say, uh, for the game. Now, I have played it, so I know the story. I remember it very very long ago back in the day yeah turn my mouth sensitivity oh, there's no... but yeah it's a good game i already completed the game i finish it in one night so um uh, i'll talk about what the game's about because i don't want to spoil anything but it, it's it's a like going like viewing it from like a child's perspective you know back in 2014 because I, I was still very little back then you know viewing it then Versus viewing it now as an adult, that kind of spoils. <laughs> uh, three <laughs> three thirty a.m. Jesus Christ! But yeah, um, it kind of it's a whole other perspective looking at it from the eyes of an adult. So I'm excited to play it. You know, I'm almost so it's gonna be a game where I'm, I'm not gonna talk a lot because the game's gonna be talking for me, which is gonna be weird. It's almost like the Stanley Parable, and almost like Amnesia Rebirth that I'm going to play later on. I don't know when, though. But, um, I just want to knock all the games out. And we're in Colorado. Boulder. Whatever that is. In 1975. You see Julia. I see Julia. Who's Julia? She's the love of my life. I just know it. I mean, good thing I'm at a bar. I think, right? Am I supposed to click something, or is this going to go? Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from the Q Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Atta boy, Henry. You are drunk. Let's go. Time to drive. Um... What's your major? I don't want to come off, come across too strong. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool. <laughs> What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> I wish. Was that a burn? She says definitely. <laughs> Worried she hurt your feelings. She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you were Julie's boyfriend. If only it was that easy. Well, it was 1975 after all. It was much more different. Oh. Picking up my bag full of beer. Because I'm a professional drinker. Ah, look at me. A drunk getting into my car. <laughs> I could not approve more. <laughs> Why don't I just put the bag in the seat now that I realize it? I feel like it would fly out. Or maybe it's just very heavy. You date for a year, she, you, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's fantastic. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on a deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could ever happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I feel like the shepherd would protect her more, honestly. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. That's like a bundle deal, honestly. That's crazy. 1979, you talk on the deck. It's summer, 1930. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> 9 30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some couple little idiots. 
Yeah, yeah that'd be fine. <laughs> uh, in that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. Uh, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably the be <laughs> for the best that their parents are hitched, you say. You say she's absolutely right. No, she's got a point. Look at me, drinking country. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks. It doesn't say no beer. Or mixed drinks, but you know, whatever you wanna. Whatever your favorite drink is, I don't know. You do, man. Uh, 1980, it's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call, you're worried and getting angry by the minute she walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk. You fight when wait, you fight when wait, oh, I should read that. <sighs> she's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Ah, oh my God! I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna let it go. You don't touch each other all night. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, the next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and at, for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment, make some coffee, and go to work. Impossible. Julia still likes to draw. 1981, colorized. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose like and flex like a he-man. I don't. You front look like Victoria's Secret. I'm a human. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be like. I. I look awesome. I'm gonna look feral, like a drifter in the woods, kind of like where I'm going. I'm gonna take pictures and send them back. This game is beautiful, by the way. I feel like I forgot to mention that, but I'm. I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can all tell. Those are birds. <laughs> POV. <laughs> Gamers going outside. That, that's what this is. Space to climb over obst obstructions. Atta boy. Good job, Michael. Sun. That is a big ball of fire. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town and brings folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May moo fuck dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered. You confront the attacker. Um, I want to beat his face in, honestly. I mean, he already hurt me. Your arm gets cut up and beat. Beat, but you... Oh, I'm sorry. Your arm... <laughs> English is hard. Your arm gets cut up, but you're beat... But, but... Oh my god. But you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from the day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you both walk by the river. Like long walks on the beach. 1984, God forbid. Plans to have in the... <laughs> plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, Colin. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh my god. I, I want her to be happy. Yeah. Uh, you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that will be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if she wants... If, it, if it's what she wants. She agrees she flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985, Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember if she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You can make macaroni and drink wine. I'm going to talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they were worried that Julia's might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's just 41. Both decided to keep it a secret for now. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing could go wrong. That's a log. Those are birds. Those are trees. That's a lamp. A book. Open journal. 
That is a penis. That is me posing like he, man. King beef. <laughs> uh, Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar and walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Huh? Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Gaming year? That's what I hear. Uh, some days you get, the, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unburned your unborn child children little idiots other days you get a complete stranger she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she's gone into a panic believing her dad is at the door <laughs> that's bad i don't know I'm uh, you tell her family they are crushed to begin to make trips from their home in australia to visit her for a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day she gets worse <sighs> you spend your days following julia around the house uh, you count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the, n the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere within 24-hour care, a home. It, si <laughs> it sits with you for a couple months. Huh. I feel, I feel like... If I just give up here. But I also feel like I'm going to do this. I believe in myself. I, I believe in my capabilities of taking care of somebody. That's a tree. These are more trees. We're we are clearly in a birch biome in Minecraft. It's absolutely wild, man. The, the wooden planks from birch trees look beautiful. I can zoom in. Y'all? Yo, young buck. That's not. A, that's not a young buck. <laughs> that's a very, very old. Old. Is that a buck? I'm pretty sure it's a buck. It's a very old buck. It is impossibly hard. <laughs> I wish. Uh, the worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. That's what love is, man. Uh, when she goes to sleep, you stay up for hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer college basketball in the winter drinking then too this just sounds like paradise for me you start going out after you put her to bed the first time you do it to oh the first time you do it you worry about getting up and walking around while you're gone oh wait the first time you do it you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone that that does not seem like a good choice. I feel like that is like a no-go, so I have to do that. Go trust. You go to the you go to the same bar at the boring end of the Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in your home and in bed by one AM a couple's night a week. A couple nights a week. Jesus Christ, English is so difficult. Nineteen eighty nine, one night you were stuck by What? No! Those f sober tards. Gah. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming up and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Wonder what that job is, huh? I'm gonna watch fire. Mm. What am I drinking? How dare they arrest me? And I can't believe I blew a 10. Like, dude, that's amateur. <laughs> Gotta at least shoot for a hundred. Enter the lookout tower. <laughs> These are this is men's dream right here. This is per look at that moon. The moon is big. It'd be a shame if uh someone blew it up. At a certain Austrian castle, if you know what I mean. Look at these trees. What is that? Thorough, fair lookout. Damn, Daniel. That's crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> Remember watching the E3 trailer for this game? Turn on the power. Oh. That was easy. I did... Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh. Um, 
Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. <laughs> Kill three ex-husbands, you're bunging against your mom, nobody back home can stand you. Um... Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Yell. Good night. Maybe. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Have you guys seen that picture where it's like the tree with the fat ass? <laughs> With the big dumpy. That, that was hot. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. God, that is so me. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. <gasps> hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's for six. 645. Jesus. Oops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Oh. Okay. Yeah, yep. I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. <laughs> Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh. Are those fucking fireworks? Over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see him. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Oh. Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so like, I don't know, that was weird. That was a little quirk quirky. Oh god. But yeah, in terms of waking up at like 6... Um, I guess in the evening now. I I literally just woke up like right now. It's like three. I woke up at like one thirty, so I guess it's not too bad for me. But like still, I fell asleep at like eight. It was not good, like at all. I went to get like a local sub place, which is I haven't had that local sub place in a while. I think I know where I'm going. I still vaguely remember like. Oh wait, hold on. This is for cash box though. I think it's on the way. Yeah. I still remember this game pretty well because I played it back in September, oh, like on my own, as it said, like three in the morning. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But yeah, honestly, I mean, this game is great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I set a timer for the game, so uh, it's about 19 minutes, and I think I'm gonna end it here right now, just because you know we're we're, we're off on a good note. You know, we're just getting into the game. But yeah, um, anyway, next time in the recan club, we're gonna go, um, 
see who's doing the fireworks or something. And then live, laugh, love or something. I don't know, man. I don't work here. <laughs>